guys, welcome back to Arts and Girl. Please stand back in Seaport City because there was a huge update and I did not want to miss out on this one because it's big. Uh, can you see what I'm talking about? It is big, big, big. Look at that building back there. Oh my God, it is crazy big. Oh my goodness, look at the new fountain. I like it, I like it, like it, like it. Okay, 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 oh wait, skateboard park has been moved into the park in the center of town, okay. All right, I'm okay with that. Um, wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I saw something over here. O-M-G. What happened to the daycare adoption center? It got a glow up. Let's go in. Oh, this is adorable. Oh my gosh. I wanna play the ball pit. I wanna play, oh, the balls don't fly around. I wanted to make them all fly out. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at this. It's so colorful. Take the baby bottle. Can I drink the baby bottle? I can. I'm a little old for it, but that baby bottle is so cute. Okay, sorry. How many times am I gonna say cute today? I don't know. Uh, but you guys can keep track and then tell me in the comments section. <laughs> oh, this is really cute. What's over here? Oh, this must be where we adopt the babies. Okay. All right. This is definitely a glow up. Let's go upstairs. I like these stairs. Oh, it's just offices up here? Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go explore the building. Because not only is there a big new building in town, but the beach got to glow up too. And there's a new neighborhood. So let's go check it out. All right, so I'm flying for this one because I want to show you what has changed. The beach doesn't look anything like it used to look. The entire, I don't know if you guys remember, but in the OG days of Seaboard City, there was kind of like a carnival pier area here. It is completely gone. It's been kind of going away a little bit at a time, but it is now completely gone. There's just beach area by the hotel. So look at it though. It looks more like a normal beach, which is okay. I mean, it's, it's all right. I mean... There's a lot of beach area. Hopefully that means in the future more fun stuff will come here. The pier got redone, which I like. It looks like we have a new lighthouse. Oh, that looks nice. It looks a lot better than the other one. I didn't really like the other one. That island has not gotten remade, it doesn't look like. This is the island where you have to have the Game Pass to live here, which is now called the Billionaire Game Pass. And the Billionaire Game Pass gives you access to that island as well as the penthouse in this new building that we're going to go visit. But I don't have the Game Pass, so I won't be able to show that off to you in this video, but maybe in future videos I will. Let's stop flying here and check out this new neighborhood. So this is Celebrity Cove. I believe, I believe, um, and I have to verify this, but I believe you have to have the Celebrity Game Pass in order to claim these lots. Uh, I'm not 100% positive on that though, so I will find that out and let you know in a future video. Uh, let's go ahead and place this house. This is one of the newer houses that I have not yet visited either, so I thought we would do that today. This is a house that is designed to be completely modern, and it's lovely. Let's go in. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so pretty. Let's go through the hole. I like houses with holes in the walls. Let's go through them. <laughs> uh, oh, this is nice. Look at this. You got like a little step up into this family room lounge area. Then here's the nice kitchen right off that dining room. I love this. Okay, what's over here? Okay, we have an office. Okay. Oh, and wait, a hallway with two doors. Let's go out this door. Oh, here's where we put our pool. Yay. Pool. Oh, oh look, it has lights in it. That's so pretty. I love this. And we've got a little fire pit area. And then let's go back in. We'll go in and go through this door and see where it takes us. Oh, just to the side. This like the driveway. That's right, there's no, oh, okay. I was gonna say there's no like garage, but look, there is a, it's kind of carport because the house 
overhangs the driveway so your car will stay nice and dry in the rain. Let's go back inside and let's go upstairs. Oh wait, what's in here? Oh, a bathroom. And of course, I'm sitting on the toilet every single time. I don't know why. I guess I just like to sit on the toilets in every house we tour. Oh my gosh, look at this room. Okay, wait. There's no doors here. Why are there no doors? Uh, that might be a little messy when it rains. I mean, I know there's cover, but sometimes the rain comes from different directions. I'm not sure. I would definitely want to put a door in there if I lived in this house. What's this? Oh, this must be the main bedroom. Look at this. What's this? Oh, the bathroom. Okay. And I made it without sitting on the toilet. Woo! And then here's the closet. It's open to the bedroom. Okay, better keep that nice and clean. And another area with no door. Why? I don't understand why there's no doors on these patios. That's kind of weird. But hey, to each their own, I guess. <laughs> Maybe that's how the people that own this house want it to be. Wait, I own this house. I want doors on there. <laughs> I do like this little alcove here. This is kind of cute. You can sit and read a book. And then over here, what's in here? Oh, okay, the kids' room and another balcony with no doors. Okay. They had a door phobia in this house, at least for the exterior. Oh, and onto the toilet. <laughs> I do love this house though. Doors not included. I love this house. Look at this. Like, look, there's a hole. I love that. This is probably one of the nicest houses in Seaboard City, if I do say so myself. I'm not exactly sure what this is uh, or why it's there. It's really kind of glaringly bright, but I love this house. I think this will be the house I use from now on, unless the apartments blow me over. Let's go find out. Okay, I had to stand all the way back here by the pet shop just so we could see this building. That's how big it is. It is so tall. I don't know how many apartments are in it, but look, there's a community pool so all the people that stay in the building can use this lovely pool. Look at that. This is like luxury living in Seaboard City taken to the highest level. Like if you could think about living like on Miami Beach, I think that's what they're going for here. This is amazing. Okay, let's go in and, okay, so we have a receptionist area. This is nice. No Max though. Look at that, they've got curved monitors. These are not Max. Normally there's Max in every place in Seaboard City. I'm kind of sad. I kind of miss the Max. Okay, <laughs> maybe they're gaming computers. I don't know. Anyway, let's go upstairs because there's not really anything in the lobby. It's too bad there's not like a coffee shop or other communal areas in here, but that's okay. Maybe we'll get like a resort hotel. Wait, can I not? Oh, there we go. All right, so let's hit Q. Let's go one. So there's one floor, two floors, three floors, four floors, five floors. Okay, so there's five stories and this one is the, must be the top one. Let's see if we can go. Oh wait, it says it's level 14, but okay. Uh, I can't go out on this little ledge here. Let's see, can I go in here? Oh, claim billionaire apartment. I don't have the game pass, so I won't be able to go in the billionaire apartment. Let's go down one floor and we'll see what we get in this floor. Oh, celebrity apartment. I got the celebrity pass. We'll go in there. All right. Oh, I like the little nameplate. This reminds me very much of how they do it at Livetopia. Let's go in here. Okay. Okay. This is cute. It looks a lot like many of the houses in Seaboard City. I don't know what I was expecting, but um, I love it. I love the views. Oh, and look, we have doors on the patios. <laughs> Yay. Look at the views. Hi. Hello down there. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty high up. I may not have been able to get the billionaire apartment, but the celebrity apartment gives you really good views. So I'm okay with that. I can look at the private island that I can't afford to live on. <laughs> Come back in here. I like these nightstands. Those are cute. We've got room for the baby, room for the pets. Oh, thankfully we have an iMac. I am happy. Oh, this bathroom is nice and spacious. I like the view from the bathroom. Okay. I'm happy with this. Let's go out here. What's over on this side? Is it a second bedroom? Oh, I like the fish tank. Hello. 
And uh, it is a kid's bedroom, but also has a computer station. And, or actually two computer stations. So if we have twins, they each can have their own little area. It's got patio or balcony with doors. Woo! <laughs> I've never thought I'd be so excited about doors in my whole life. But yet, I am. Go figure. Anyway, you guys, that's it. That's it for this update for Seaboard City. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll come to Seaboard City and check out all the new building that's happening around town. It's definitely getting a glow up and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know you're watching. Of course, if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and let YouTube know you'd like to be notified when I post something new on the channel because there's lots more coming, including more Seaboard City. Until next time, guys. Bye.